Separation in the liquid column can occur in shipping and handling or as a result of horizontal storage. To prevent separation in storage, we recommend you store your thermometers vertically or at an angle of 15 degree or more. We offer storage trays that properly store your thermometers at an angle to prevent liquid separation. These trays fit into a standard lab drawer. There are two simple methods for reuniting separated thermometer liquid, a cooling method and a heating method. With either method, we strongly suggest you wear safety glasses and gloves and never leave the thermometers unattended while working with them. The cooling method should only be used with mercury thermometers unless they have a contraction chamber because this method may cause other liquids to freeze and the bulb to break. Depending on the separation, it may be necessary to apply both methods. First, prepare a solution of dry ice, also known as CO2, and alcohol. For one thermometer, you may need about a cup. If you do not have access to dry ice, you may also use a solution of shaved ice and salt. But please note, the solution can only be used for thermometers with ranges above freezing as the solution will only reach temperatures slightly below freezing. Place a thermometer bulb halfway into the cup of solution, keeping the thermometer upright. Allow the liquid column to retreat into the bulb. Once all the liquid has retreated into the bulb, swing the thermometer bulb down in an arc, forcing the entrapped gas above the column. Allow the thermometer to return to ambient temperature in an upright position. Repeat until the separation has been reunited. The heating method may be used with organic or mercury filled thermometers. Again, we strongly suggest you wear safety glasses and gloves and never leave a thermometer unattended while working with them. Start by briefly heating the expansion chamber at the top of the thermometer. Next, Rock the thermometer back and forth while heating the thermometer bulb in an upright position away from your face in warm liquid or over a soft flame. Do not put the bulb directly into the flame. The amount of heat required can be determined by the top of your scale. You will need just enough heat to allow the liquid column to rise slowly until the separated portion of the column enters the expansion chamber at the top of the thermometer. Overfilling the expansion chamber will break the thermometer. Try not to fill the expansion chamber more than three quarters full. Once the liquid has entered the expansion chamber, heat the expansion chamber again to gather any excess liquid. Tap the thermometer gently in an upright position, allowing the gas separating the column to rise above the column. Allow the thermometer to return to ambient temperature in an upright position. Repeat as necessary.